It's warm-up time here at the raceway. The car on the track now, number 10, Carlo Positano. Very popular driver. Beautiful day. The sun is out. And there next to Chicago B, that's Positano smiling and obviously very proud owner, Guy Benoit. The excitement building for the Montgomery Cup. Hello again, everyone. I'm Frank Gifford, and I'm talking with Matt Conley. He'll be driving Adam Chandler's car in today's race. And, Matt, I know you're a former champion, but you haven't driven competitively in quite a while. Uh, why don't you give us a quick overview as to how you think today's race is going to go? Well, Frank, my chief competition is Travis Montgomery. He's uh, fast, he's tough, and he's very competitive, but I think he's very beatable, too. Oh, you sound very confident. Well, I didn't come here to lose. Realistically, though, Matt, uh, Montgomery, he has to be the favorite. He's a defending champion. A year ago, he set a track record, uh, 128 miles per hour. Uh, how do you plan to beat him? Well, uh, he is good. He's got a good car and a, and a first-rate experienced crew. But I've got a good car under me and a very good crew myself. I think I can take him on the terms, actually. Uh, but that's not disallowing for the other drivers. Now, you take uh, Bob Grayson. Now, he's good. He's turned in some record times here late, lately. Um, the other two guys, I, I really don't know them that well. They've raced mostly on the European circuit. Now, you're talking about Carlo Positano and Johnny White. Yeah, yeah, I understand they're very good. Well, you're very good, good too, Matt. I want to wish you the very best, uh, and lots of luck. Thanks a lot, Frank. Mm -hmm. Well, there you heard it. That was a very confident uh, Matt Conley. We're looking for Travis Montgomery, and hopefully we'll be able to get a few words with him before the race. As you know, the Montgomery Cup was established by Travis Montgomery Sr. 20 years ago. It's an annual race here at the beautiful but demanding Charleston track, and it is a fast race, and it's going to become probably the most exclusive car race in this country. The race consists of 200 grueling laps, and an important factor in the outcome of this race today could be the weather. At the moment, it's sunny and windy out there, but the forecast calls for intermittent showers, and if the track gets wet, it could be dangerous. Johnny White would then, of course, be the favorite since he's been very successful under those conditions in the past. Well, we're getting underway very shortly. Frank, hey, how are you? Hello, Adam, how are you? Good to see you. How are things going? Just fine. Oh, the car's great. Interestingly enough, Travis Montgomery hasn't shown up yet. Did you know that, Frank? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, no sign of it. Well, he better get his butt in gear if he wants to be in this race. Exactly. Which means you're close to a shoe-in. Car's all set. Well, Bucky, I'm sorry, but I think you just wasted your time. If Travis was going to race today, he'd ought to be here by now. Well, Mr. Montgomery will come through. He always does. Yeah, well, I'm afraid he's not going to this time. No, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to make it official. I must withdraw the car from the race. Just give him a few more minutes, Mrs. Montgomery. He said he'd be here. I hate doing this as much as you do, but I really have no choice now, do we? I guess Matt Connolly's got it in the bag. You'll tell the crew now, won't you? Sure. Thank you for all your help. You're welcome. Hank, thanks a lot. Really, sorry. It's a real shame. You could have shown him your stuff. Miss King, is the boss with you? No, but don't worry. We're going to win this race. Well, yeah. How? I'm driving. Flags up, huh? Yeah, yeah. This nut has got a bond at gunpoint, and, and then Jesse went up you there. You stay and... here. When... But Jesse doesn't know anything. Not about... on. Like enough troubles as it is. Hold on. Ken. What? Hubbard's wife got past us. Why did you stop her? Uh, we couldn't stop her. She's somewhere in the building. Damn. Damn. I don't make you pay. I should kill you right on the spot, Baxter. Jesse, no! <laughs> Jeremy, there's no way I could ever thank you for all you've done for me. So this is just a little something to remember me by. I'm going to miss you, Noel. Jeremy, this is so 
messy. Let me wash it for you. Don't you dare. It took me hours to mix those colors, especially the white for the unicorn. Oh. Unicorns have a special meaning. Yeah. They're mythical animals. They represent love and purity. I always thought of them as strong, protective, and extremely noble. Just like you. Yeah, especially with a horn in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> no, really. That's, you're all those things. And you've made me so happy, happier than I've... Well, I can't say everything before because I don't remember. <laughs> but if I could make a bet, I'd say it would be true. Well, when you regain your memory, we'll compare notes. How's that? But what if I get my memory back and I can't remember us, I can only remember what's before. That's no problem. And I'll paint you a unicorn and I'll send it to you to remember. With your face on it? Oh, no, that would be sacrilege. No, it wouldn't. You know, if I had my choice, I would never remember what was. I would just remember what's now. Yeah? Well, what's now is you're sitting on my palette. I didn't. <laughs> And you expect me to be noble about it? You know what we do no. with girls without a unicorn? No. You put something on your forehead? No, Come here! Yeah, no. Come here! No. Miss Keaton, Dr. Reed will be ready for you in just a few minutes. Oh, thank you. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. And besides, I'm not authorized. No, it's to let fine. Anybody really, get it. it's really. Tra it's Travis has taken me out several times in the last few weeks in the car, and he's taught me a lot. That doesn't mean you can compete with professional drivers. And if you think they'll show you any mercy because you're a woman, forget it. The only thing that matters to them is winning. I know. I know that. But look. It's obvious that they have more experience than I do about driving, but at least I can drive well enough to keep us in the race, and then we'll have a chance. Look, if I start, then Travis can take my place as soon as he gets here. I don't know. Mr. Montgomery will never forgive me if something goes wrong. It won't. It won't. And if it does, then I will take full responsibility. This race is just so important to Travis and me, I can't just sit by and watch Matt Conley win. Now stop arguing with me. You help me get ready. Have you told anybody else about this? No. You're gonna find out, you know, sooner or later. All right. The car's in perfect condition. Bucky went over it himself just before you got here. You're gonna need to put these on. Up there. All right. You need to wear this. Now, take it easy on the curves, especially down in Echo Valley. You need to wear these. And just keep her in control on the straightaways, capiche? Right. I have a chance, don't I? Hey, in this car, even my mother would have a chance. Go for it. He's going to do it. 